Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution R Set Play, and today I am going to be working with the dreaded oil pastels. This is the first time I've ever used oil pastels on my channel. I have used them in the past, but not extensively. I'm going to be using the Van Gogh, um, I think it's the 24 set. And you can see, like, I've played around with them a little bit in my, like, sketchbook and stuff just to see, oh, they're upside down, how they are. Um, these ones, they all have the light fast ratings right on the side, which is very exciting. So far, I like them. And, I mean, as far as I can tell, because I am not a pastel artist. And then I also have some of the Geoconda oil pastels. I love their, the Koe Noor um, soft pastels, so I bought a small set, and these also have light fast ratings on the side, which, as you know, if you follow me a lot, for my fine art applications, is usually a very, um, huge must for me. So it's going to be one big experiment for me. So, let's get to work. Okay, so welcome to the voiceover. Um, this was quite an experience for me. I have to say, I haven't probably done a full actual pastel piece since I was a kid. Um, and this isn't totally pastel. As you can tell, I am bringing in some colored pencils and um, a few different blending supplies to try and just kind of see how like I can do this and what I can do with this supply because I am not used to this supply and so I'm much more used to my colored pencils but also I wanted to kind of see if colored pencils worked well with them because they're basically made out of the same materials although colored pencils are obviously much harder but basically they have like the same kind of elements of you know a little bit of wax and some oil and so I just wanted to see if they worked well together and they worked surprisingly really well together the colored pencils layered over them great and they also blended in in with them really well and I found that to be really exciting because this could also be a way to speed up my color pencil pieces in the future however the majority of this piece really is going to be in pastel I bring in the pencils with some help of the detailing and things like that but for the most part the under layers and a lot of the shading is done with the pastels and I can't really necessarily give a full review of these sets of pastels because I don't have much to compare it to besides like the kids cray paws. I can say that personally for this project, I definitely liked the Van Gogh pastels a little bit better because they were softer and creamier than the Koe Noor ones were and much easier to blend even with my hand, which you'll see me do that a lot too. I'll be wearing gloves so that I can blend with my fingers really easily. But I am also using blending stumps and soft tools and a little bit of OMS, but not much. I do bring in some odorless mineral spirits just to try it, but they didn't work as well on this particular paper, which is the Lux Archival Paper by Brush and Pencil. This is actually my first full piece on the Lux Archival as well. I've played around with the Lux Archival Paper paper before like I've tried different mediums on it just as test swatches and stuff but this is my first full piece using the Lux archival sanded paper and this paper is technically for colored pencils it's to be used with the brush and pencil blending it's the you know the colored pencil blender and the texture fixatives and things like that by brush and pencil um, but I really wanted something really sturdy and sanded that could really grip the pigment here. And I had tested these oil pastels on a few different papers beforehand, and I really liked the way it worked on this paper. So I actually really love this paper for this medium. And I think I might end up having to buy more of this paper just so that I can do more pastel pieces. Though there are a lot of other people who use oil pastels on mixed media paper or watercolor paper. I mean, there's plenty of different papers you can use these on because they'll write on just about anything. So that's a bonus. But yeah, so I really liked the Van Gogh ones because they were nice and buttery, but the Koe Noir ones were great too because I could get like finer details if I wanted it to kind of stay put. And I was able to use both in conjunction and blend both together but the Koe Noir ones just didn't blend out as buttery smooth as the Van Gogh ones did but it might be the I don't know like I, I need to try them on different paper as well together but other than that I really can't say like how much I like them compared to other things because as I said I'm very new to this medium 
This was a really messy good time though. Like I had so much fun doing this. It feels like so like hands-on and tactile just blending this way and so much quicker other than the fact that I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> if I had known better what I was doing, if I was more used to this medium, I think it would have been a lot quicker of a project for me, but a lot of it was experimenting with blending and things like that. And as I said, I did try to use odorless mineral spirits in some places. You will see I have a little palette off to the side that I scribble some of these on and I'll take my water brush that I have odorless mineral spirits in and I will apply it with a paintbrush and that worked really well too. However, on this paper, the OMS just kind of sits on top. It doesn't absorb as quickly as it does on other paper, so it took longer to dry. I found myself blotting it off because I'm impatient. <laughs> so I think it would work fine on this paper, but just not as well as other papers. So for the most part, I didn't use that method as much as I expected to. Basically, I mostly used the the pastels and some polychromos and i did use some i think it was a derwent chinese white which is my favorite for the the white whites because i had used my white pastel for blending so much um i had to wipe it off a lot obviously but there was a lot of blue on it so for my whitest whites i did end up coming over it with colored pencil because this paper is made for colored pencil. It allows for a lot of layering and it made it super easy to layer those colored pencils on top, especially the polychromos, which are oil-based. And this paper is really great for oil-based pencils. So I found the combination to be awesome. I was really excited about that. But yeah, so you can just see me. I think I spent more time on this particular blueberry than any other. And this drawing I'm doing from my own reference photo. I had freehanded it as a thumbnail sketch and then I scanned it in and I blew it up bigger and then I just transferred it to my drawing paper. I, I tend to work better freehand on smaller, like on a smaller scale. So I find it works easier for me if I sketch things out small in my sketchbook and I try to draw them to scale. So for this one, this is an eight by 10. So I did a four by five thumbnail sketch. So that way there, when it's blown up, it could be blown up to the actual size that it needs to be. And this video is not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned. This is stuff that I've had in my studio. This is kind of one of those situations where I got excited about an art supply back in the day and bought it and then hadn't had the chance to use it. And now I'm finally doing it. And I love these. So many people, I watch so many people that say like oil pastels are their least favorite medium. And so I was kind of like freaked out by it, but I love these. This was so much fun. I can't even... It was like so enjoyable and so messy, hence the fact that I'm wearing gloves, but it was just so cool to be able to blend so easily and, and just so nice and creamy and like, uh, I don't even know. It was super exciting. And the fact that I can use colored pencils with it is just a bonus for me. And maybe down the line, I will do one that is 100% oil pastels. Originally, I wanted to try to do that, but then I realized like, I also want to see what I can do with these supplies. And that also means like what other supplies can go with it. Like I want to get the maximum benef benefit out of my art supplies. And so if I'm able to combine it with other supplies and make my life easier, I will. And with the smaller detail, it was just much easier for me to use some pencils, obviously, because it's a little bit more difficult to get fine detail with oil pastels, especially these ones, because none of them had like a point on them. I do have a small sampler pack of the Sennelier oil pastels, which feel like lipstick. I mean, they are really creamy, but I didn't use them as much on here um, because I didn't really have a lot of colors. Okay, so here is the final piece. I hope that you enjoyed me experimenting. I kind of rambled in this a bit because I didn't really have much to say other than the fact that I tried a medium that I hadn't tried since I was a kid, and I think I'm in love. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you like to see me do more oil pastels on the channel? Let me know in the comments below. All right. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Also, if you're interested in seeing more of my artwork, I'm on social media. So check out the links in the description below.